light. It's great. It's wonderful. But you know, when I go now to the beach or I get out in the sunlight, I have to put on sunblock, you know, to block off some of the rays of the sun. And now they tell me I have to watch for UVA and UVB. I wonder if there's going to be a UVC. <laughs> because light in proportion is good for my skin. But when I get too much of it, I have precancerous. So I guess I could get skin cancer easily from parts of the light that aren't good for me. You know, there's a time and a place, you know, for everything under the sun. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to reason, a time for why, you know, time for this, a time for that, and everything else in between. But when I love going to the beach, that means if I want to enjoy it, I really have to block off some of it. But you know, it's kind of funny because in the summer, I have to block some of the light, but in the winter, I have to get more of the light. As a matter of fact, in the winters, I have to get full spectrum lighting. You know, those kind of bulbs that have all the light, just like sunlight. Now, they're not called sunlight bulbs. They're called full spectrum bulbs because they have all of the UVA and UVB and UVC and UVD and UVE and UVF and UVG. You know, all of the light. So that it, when I'm looking at light and not darkness, then I'm not affected by my moods. Because you see, if I stay in the shadows or not enough light, then I get moody. I mean, don't you? Isn't that kind of like what God has been telling us all along, that if your eyes be full of light, how great is the light within, but if your eye be full of darkness, how great is the darkness? Well, scientists, as strange as it may seem, have proven that if you don't get enough light, especially in winter months, you get moody and you get angry and you get depressed and you get actually into all these negative and very self-destructive attitudes that quite frankly aren't good for you. Funny how that works. Here we have God telling us to be in the light and then scientists come along and say yeah you gotta get a certain amount of light in order to affect your body and your mind and your soul and your being to be healthy. Huh. I like that. The light, as he is in the light. You know, Jesus often spoke of being the light of the world and men love darkness more than the light because they would come to him if they were of the world and not of the world and they would come to him lest their deeds be exposed for what they were because when they came to Jesus he could kind of like see through their phony excuses he could see through all the made up ideas that they had you know he would kind of like shine upon their lives and see what manner of nature they really were isn't that kind of what light is supposed to do I mean we're children of the light and we're children of the day we should be about doing things in the light and also wherever we are kind of like revealing light you know like kind of not being a part of the darkness participating in the darkness you know and getting involved in the darkness wonder why so many things are done when it's not well lit wonder why we do so many things in the dark and not in the light interesting isn't it how light seems to affect our attitudes, our actions, and they even reveal our intentions. Let your speech always <clears throat> be with grace. <coughs> A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. As an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart brings forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth evil things. By your words you shall be justified. 
the tongue of the wise is health. They that feared the Lord spoke often one to another, and the Lord heard and hearkened unto them. And a book of remembrance was written before him for all them that feared the Lord, and they that thought upon his name. If thou take forth the precious from the vial, thou shalt be as my mouth. Therefore, as you abound in everything, in faith, and in utterance, and in knowledge, and in all diligence, see that you abound in this grace also. I like that, you know, because we could give everything that's in our thoughts and everything that's in our mind, everything's in our heart, and just spit it out there, kind of like hot, bright sunlight, and burn people with our mouth and our words and our deeds and our actions. Or we could choose to use the light in certain ways that we could reveal some things as opposed to exposing some things. But we see God with his full spectrum lighting is able to not only expose but to reveal the thoughts and intentions of the heart. But we can only shine light on the outside, not really on the inside. It's kind of like God is able to do a lot better job of the light than we are. But we should use some light to maybe lighten the load of someone else on their way. You know, our words being full of grace, our words being kindly ministering to one another. Maybe there is a way to lighten up the day without it being a full spectrum and without it being needing, you know, sunblock. Maybe we can lighten somebody up in their way with just simply saying, I love you, or caring enough to share the love and the grace and the mercy and the light that is in Jesus.